Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Romani. If you're new here, hello, hi, welcome. And uh, yeah, long time no see. Um, I don't think I filmed anything for this channel for mm, a few months. Um, I think the last time I spoke to you was in December. So apologies for that. But you know, better late than never. I'm just really trying to like finding it hard to swing into 2024 it's towards the end of february already and it doesn't feel i still feel stuck in 2022 in all honesty but anyway uh today we have a got a, a box to be opening and that is this oh my god it weighs a ton okay this is the latest in beauty presents the editor's choice with get the gloss and victoria woodhull oh sorry with get the gloss and victoria woodhull uh i got this off of tiktok i got this off of tiktok shop um i have had one of these previously before that was in october 2022 i think um and these come out i don't know whether they're monthly quarterly i'm not sure but <sighs> every time i see them i'm like oh oh i'd quite like that one so this cost me for uh 36 pounds it's got 318 pounds worth of goodies inside apparently but the question is am i going to use any of it is it worth your money it's only worth your money if you're going to use the products so we will see whether we like what is inside if you are new here to my channel then please do consider subscribing that would be fantastic that would be great and let's see what is in this bad boy so just swapped over to some phone footage just so I can get a little bit closer and you can see the box in all its glory. So just a cardboard box and it has the main box inside the sleeve. Okay, so I'm just going to slide this outer sleeve off. I'll pick that up in a second and we've just got a black box full of goodies are you ready for the peel oh yes all the way that's what we like to see and i'll give you first peekity deek of the inside can you see I can't even see anything. I'm not even peeking. All right. So let's have a look and see what we have got first. Oh, okay. So first of all, we've got a little sheet which tells you everything. Oh, I won't have a look. Tells you everything that is in this box. That looks like there is a lot, a lot in here. And it's wrapped in some black tissue paper. So yeah, I was just having a quick read of the front of this and it says, uh, dive into a cur curated lineup of leading skincare, makeup, hair and body essentials that will give you fresh ideas and insight for 2024 and beyond. For just £60, you will gain access to the collection valued at £318, featuring 19 beauty heroes with an incredible 14 full-size items ready to revolutionize oh my god ready to revolutionize your beauty and self-care routine well i paid 36 pounds not 60. so i'm just going to tear off this little oh gosh oh my goodness okay let me give you <laughs> so i'm just going to grab and go okay let's right the first item is this 
can you focus on this and not me this is the dr organic organic moringa revitalizing body wash cleanse and refresh uplift the senses and this is vegan and let's have a quick sniff Upon first sniff, it does smell slightly like baby sick. Hold on. Oh no, okay, that's... Whew. Yeah. First sniff, it did actually smell a little bit like baby sick. I was a bit worried then. <laughs> okay, that is the first item. Second item. Oh, yes. A La Rose a Rocher Pose. Uh... Effaclair Duo Plus M. What the frigging hell is that? Okay, it's a triple treatment corrector. Anti imperf. I'm trying to read the foreign language. Right, so if somebody could call. Mm, right, okay. Severe and recurring imperfections. Post acne marks for men and women tested on more than 6,700 subjects with all skin tones. Apply to the face morning and evening after cleansing, avoiding the eye area. Okay, so it's. I could have just read the front. Okay, so it is an anti imperfection triple corrective care blackheads and blemishes and post acne 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 scars marks even uh yeah we got there in the end okay second or uh, third item this is the balamon's skin salvation uh, for all skin's needs an intensive ointment to nourish, protect and moisturise dry skin. Also suitable for people who are prone to eczema. It's 100% natural. The award-winning Skin Salvation was formulated during a mother's search to find an effective way of managing her daughter's dry and um, allergy-prone skin. Okay, so can you put this on your face or is this body? Apply liberally as often as required. Keep cool. Oh, keep cool. External use only. <sighs> okay. Patch test on um, uninfected areas. Close, close to affected areas and leave for 24 hours. Right, you don't need to know all that. I just want to... Suitable for face and body, including babies from six weeks. Let's, let's have a quick sniff. I'm hoping that it doesn't actually smell of anything. Yep, completely scentless. That will come in handy because I, uh, yeah, I did a stupid thing towards the end of last year. Uh, you may remember I got that massive... Um, advent calendar with all skincare stuff i decided one of the days that i was going to put literally everything on my face everything was going to get thrown at my face because i wanted to try every single thing that i had my face obviously went what the hell are you doing and uh decided that it would dry up like a prune it was literally so dry I had a look into the future of what my wrinkly ass face is gonna look like okay because I had wrinkles like I had like I had wrinkles actual deep wrinkles in my face because it was so dry um, and it just rejected everything um, so in future if you're gonna try new skincare slowly change one at a time don't change everything because you won't be able to tell which one your face didn't like it could have been all of them you know the change of skincare my face might have gone absolutely not it could have been just one it could have been none of them it could have been something completely different i'm not going to know but that what i'm getting at was 
like that would have been perfect to get my skin back to normal it took about a month that's why i haven't really filmed throughout january although i should have really because it probably would have been helpful anyway right next item is this i didn't even see what it was before i showed you oh it's a perfume oh my god it's a perfume it's a perfume okay right let's have a look okay it's a it's a good size perfume the eye of a tribulus orange blossom an absolute white musk okay here we go i'm going for the spray please be good oh my god it's good oh my god that's good good that's good that is good that is freaking good so that is more obviously musky that's good Hmm. yes yes that's good that is good right next item flying through this this is the grace coal nectarine and blossom nectarine blossom and grapefruit softening hand and nail cream okay i love a hand cream i've got to that age now where i love a hand cream oh it's sealed let's unseal that um and i was always moaning that hand creams never come with spf which i is what i thought um i got a champ sh uh Champneys one whatever it's called um and it is actually spf all right let's get some of this it's your normal thick cream oh oh that's disappointing oh my eye keeps watering right i said that was disappointing because i love the smell of grapefruit and it's not oh, it's not a strong smelling thing at all it doesn't smell strong which i appreciate it doesn't smell strong and people are love, gonna love that it doesn't smell strong because they don't, might not like strong smelling stuff but i love the smell of grapefruit so right next item oh my god do you know what i just picked that up and i thought oh my god it's a drunk elephant item it's not a drunk elephant item at all this is coats gentle hydrating toning milk um lots of great ingredients there if you can see that it's for normal to dry skin doesn't that look like a drunk elephant bottle oh yeah so it is a milk so it's a cloudy liquid and it doesn't really smell of anything so it's a hydrating toning milk with mandelic acid vitamin c hyaluronic acid niacinamide and ceramide milky toner gently exfoliates to boost skin's radiance lovely yep doesn't smell right next item soap brows this is from the original soap uh the original brow soap the original soap wb co with ba with a bamboo spoolie here's my bamboo spoolie we love a bamboo spoolie well i think we do anyway um and oh I'll open this way i've never tried soap brows i've always wanted to because i think my brows are quite a good brow for a soap brow and we've all seen the soap brow so what just a bit of water lava that beast up use your spoolie to get them brows fluffy and in place so i will be using that i will be trying that and looking forward to that all right next item uh what is this this is romilly 
Oh my God, that's me and Millie. Ro Millie, wild, uh, energetic performance, the active boost. Oh, it's a face oil. Nourishing cell concentrate. Oh, I do love a, I love a facial oil. And a, an advanced and intelligent oil targets skin renewal, cellular uh, respiration and um, improving antioxidant activity. Skin is brightened as pigmentation is also addressed with core technologies. Uh, why do they have to put such weird words in? Uh, intense MB and first light snow lotus. This multi lipid complex is the center to our skincare system. God blimey. I think they do all that and you're just like, yeah, okay. Oh, look at that. That looks like a fancy box, uh, fancy packaging, glass. The only thing I don't like about these is this, look. Ah, oh, look, the lid's come off, but the little stopper has not come out because it's welded itself shut in there. This happens to all, oh, for goodness sake, there you go, it's come out now. It happens all the time to anything that's got droppers like this. The, the thing gets stuck. Anyway. Right. Oh, it's all stuck up there. This is going to be messy now, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Doesn't smell that great, but no real skin oils seem to smell very good, to be honest. Um, actually, you know what? It actually doesn't smell awful. Um, sometimes they smell of nothing sometimes they smell a little bit too what is it uh like rosemary oil smells it smells off you don't know whether it's good to use or not <laughs> okay i'm very much looking forward to using that okay next item this is an essie product and this looks like a cuticle oil yep it's apricot oil i didn't know essie in that did i've got slippery hands i didn't realize they did like cuticle oils hmm. let's get the cuticle oil up my fingers i have got really quite dry cuticles at the moment i have been neglecting that area i just kind of rely on hand creams but hand creams don't always deliver enough moisture do they and I have got it's normally my middle finger and this finger that gets the most dry um, and obviously it's winter you need to get them nice and supple Oh. Okay, next item. This is the Suckin uh, Original Hydrating Mist Toner with chamomile and rose. It's paraben free and alcohol free for all skin types. Just a hydrating mist toner combines rose water and chamomile to help soothe, purify and cool tired skin. It can be used after cleansing, before and after makeup application or any time your skin is feeling tired, stressed or overwhelmed. All right, come on then. Let's. Okay, wasn't the greatest of sprays. First of all, need a little while to get get itself together. Hmm. Doesn't really smell of anything, not that I noticed. A little bit, does smell a little bit. 
but hopefully that hasn't messed up my makeup. Right, next item is it. Did you see that? It is an eye retouch. This is a two in one serum concealer. Um, anti aging smart tone luminous coverage flawless and it's a who's it from is it from i retouch or transfer formulas transformulas yeah dermatologically tested cruelty free and 100% vegan what does it say there beauty without surgery so if this is a concealer, then how do they know what colour that I want? Oh, it's a... Everything at the moment is that, isn't it? One of those clicky, clicky stick things. Right. So you... Clicky stick generally takes about four years and then it doesn't say what colour it is, nothing. I assume I'm going to do this and then watch it come flying out and it will go everywhere. Oh, here it, here it comes. Okay, yeah, so it's a light. Oh. Not really light as such. Can you see that's very yellow? Very yellow. And it's... Um, Hmm. It's very yellow and quite sheer, so I don't know how that's going to work. We will see. We will give it a good go before we judge. Okay, next item. Just grab... What is this? This is Vodka. Uh, dreams of Africa pillow spray oh my god night rituals as part of your bedtime routine spray your pillow and bedding prior to getting in what does it smell like oh my god I need to I need to smell this this looks fancy this looks bloody fancy oh my god look Okay, is it, what's it gonna smell of? Christ! <coughs> wow. Okay, that just smells like a frigging spa. Okay, it smells like a spa. It smells of, oh, it, that, that smells amazing. It's got that warm scent to it as well um why does it not tell me what's in it come on yeah let's see turn your bedroom into a calming and inviting sanctuary it does smell amazing this beautifully balanced scent was inspired by the wisdoms of this ancient con uh, continent for dreams of africa i deliberately combined precious ingredients from car Kara woods and frankincense with the fresh and um, enchanting scents of neroli and blue tansy and carefully balanced the earthy and sen sensuous notes of patchouli with the licorice smell of spice of spices wow yes i mean that smells like a really lovely spa of which so 
just it smells so good right next item next item i'll let you see it first as normal okay this is the ella and joe relax and renew night cream why am i amazing i contain a blend of ingredients to stimulate skin's renewal plump outlines wrinkles and hydrate the skin while you sleep oh, multitasker so I'm gathering it's going to be a, yeah, look, nice, luxurious. Thick. Cream. Looks like that. Again. Not much for scent, slightly scented, but not much. Very much looking forward to that. Oh my goodness. All right, and then we've got a um, facial cleansing sponge. I've got loads of these, loads of these. They're always really handy. Just use them, cleanse your face, and then wipe it away with one of those they're really good okay this is the viviscal advanced hair health hair thickening serum serum um instant strand coating lightweight serum for thicker fuller looking hair okay i've already got a hair thickening i've got quite thick hair anyway but i am finding all of a sudden that it's not so thick i'm losing i feel like i'm losing my hair at the front um anyway um we understand the science of healthy hair growing from the inside out formulated with hair build building blocks uh botin and keratin uh and fortified with marine collagen and seaweed ex extracts uh this uh, Viviscal hair thickening serum is a lightweight leave-in treatment that coats each hair strand creating multi-dimensional density without frizz leading to thicker fuller looking hair okay so it's just a little pump action bottle i will definitely give that a go uh mua makeup academy that's oh, quite a cute little makeup uh, palette five eyeshadow uh five shade eyeshadow palette, palette enchantment highly pigmented matte and shimmer foil eyeshadow shades carefully selected for you to create a altitude of memorizing eye looks shades left to right supernatural bewitched voodoo power and spell book okay quite a cute little eyeshadow palette and I think oh my goodness I was gonna say we're on the last item we're not at all there's more there is more okay this is the Lealu well I don't know let it shine anti frizz two-in-one primer this is a hair primer for all hair types Apparently just adds a little extra shine. No, uh, need more shine and no frizz. Use me as a heat protection when styling your hair or as a primer before your conditioner to boost the shine. As a bonus, I'm also color protective. I'm your perfect two in one go-to product. With help from uh, Caladila, I don't know. Uh, your hair will be extra moisturized and hydrating with less frizz. I get very frizzy hair. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, okay. It's like a, it's a cream. smells quite fresh doesn't have a hugely overly scented scent 
nothing here really has an overly scented scent apart from the perfume which we're expecting the perfume oh and the pillow spray ah. right oh my god two more products that's it right what's this it's a pencil it's a fast stroke felt eyeliner from the collection long lasting intense color uh it's black precision felt tip for fast and easy application vegan suitable i'm not going to open it and see what the pen's like because i already have a couple of felt liners already on the go so i don't want to start using that otherwise they'll all dry up okay last item sad times you get first look okay it is the daily intimate wash violet cotton gentle and ph balance formulation developed with a gynecologists swedish intimate intimate skincare our gynecologist our gynecologist developed wash is specially made for your vulva with ideal ph balance level of five and carefully selected ingredients gently cleanses without disrupting the natural flora and leaves skin silky smooth i've never really described down there as silky smooth <laughs> well unless i've shaved it that's it doesn't we don't need to go into that okay let's sniff it shouldn't no, nope, doesn't smell of anything, which is good. I will give that a go. I do, I am a bit dubious about down there washes because there's nothing worse than if something upsets down there and it's, yeah, nothing worse, really nothing worse. Um, anyway, that was everything. That was really good. Um, I am going to say definitely worth the 36 pounds that i paid 318 pounds worth of goodies there i will obviously pop on the screen how much everything is worth um and i mean i know that there's some bits here that aren't particularly very expensive like the uh mua makeup pal um, palette the collections eyeliner um these facial sponges they're not a large purchase as such but i do think things like this pillow spray and that i would say probably are quite expensive quite pricey goods so beauty boxes like that are a fabulous way of trying more higher end products trying new products that you didn't know even existed and it just gets you looking into new products even for a treat sometimes you'll go on and you'll see something you'll be like oh my god i would never just buy that by itself because it's so expensive but getting it in a box set for you know with everything else is a bit more viable so yeah it's a great way to sample new products sample products that you've never seen before and never tried before and never been able to afford before maybe um the only downside is sometimes if you fall in love with it you you then got the thing of do you fork out all that money <laughs> again it's a great way to build a you know a skincare collection good way of doing that um they are only worth their money if you use the products i would suggest that any products that you think i'm not going to use i'm not going to make use of that i don't want to try that or i've tried that and i don't like that gift them to somebody else make a little box up and gift some products that you don't use you don't want to use you don't fancy you don't like the smell whatever it is or even if you've tried it once and you're like no i don't like that gift it to a friend family member something like that so they can try it um i do find the beauty industry is probably one of the most wasteful so we do like to waste um 
So making sure that we don't waste our products and we give them to other people if we don't like them. But all in all, I'm really happy with that box. I am looking forward to trying each of the items. Um, the eyeshadow palette, I'm not too bothered about. I have got so many but I will try it maybe and then I can give it to Millie. She will probably make use of it. I'm sure she will. Um, the other products I'm very excited to try would be the facial oil. I'm very excited to try the facial oil. Very excited to try the pillow and bed spray. See what that's like. Um, make my bedroom smell like a spa. Um, very intrigued by the um moisturizer that re that cell regenerating whatever it was um moisturizer that's very good for if you have like the eczema and things like that i'm quite excited to try that so most of those products i can 100 percent say that i will try and if you want to see me try them want my opinion on them anything like that then let me know other than that i will see you all for the next one bye